Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Good Notes 6. Yes, Good Notes 6. Um, it has been out for a while. Um, as you can see, it's Good Notes 6.0.10. And um, it's pretty new. And we're going to check it out and see what the difference is between Good Notes 5 and Good Notes 6. So I just downloaded it. Okay. And I will actually insert, oh gosh, is this not charged? Jesus. I really thought I charged this. Good note six. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to, yeah, the document. So this is what the folders look like. As you can see at the bottom, I have this part here that says, enjoying good note six? Upgrade now and get up to 25% off. So basically, depending on when you downloaded GoodNotes is how much you'll get, how much percentage you'll get off. So you'll get more percentage off if you downloaded it between the months, I believe it's um, July and September or something like that. So if you downloaded it during that time, GoodNotes 5, anyway, if you downloaded GoodNotes 5, um, within the past two to three months, you'll get a bigger discount. I downloaded Good Notes 5 back in 2020. So I only get a 25% discount. I think people who've gotten um, a larger discount is because you probably just now downloaded it. So good for you. You're going to get a bigger discount on Good Notes 6. I downloaded it. I get a yearly payment of $7 for the first year, $7.49. And then it will be $10 for the next year after. So that's a 25% discount for this year. If I want to do the one-time payment, which is what I'm most likely going to do, because I don't want to be paying every year, it depends, based on how I feel about it, um, it'll be $24.99 for me. So, and obviously you have it for the rest of your life. You don't have to keep, you know, paying every year. So I think it's nice that you can pay um, with this subscription, pay um, either one-time payment or you can do the yearly. So it depends on what you need. If you just need it for school, you know, maybe the 749 um, speaks to you working. But there is a trial, which is what I'm on right now. It's a seven day trial, so you can try it out and see if you wanna go back to GoodNotes 5 or if you're liking GoodNotes 6. So let's take a look. What I really find interesting is that I can change the colors and the icons on my folders. So I have a ton of folders, as you can see here. And this one, I change the color. So you just press on that little arrow at the bottom of your folder and you can change the color to whatever you like. So the classic blue is in there or tealish color. Then you have green, you have yellow, orange, red, you have gray and you even have black. So I really like that um, you have color options. You also get your icons right here. So if you don't want an icon, of course you can leave it blank. Or if you do, you can choose one of the icons that they have here. So let's say this is a math class, maybe this will fit you. If you're, you know, doing something at night and you want to journal, maybe this will fit you. So you have different options for that, which is nice. So I can have different colors, different icons for all of my folders, making things a little bit more organized. Now I have tons and tons of things and I noticed right away, like, the graphics are different so it looks like you have pages if you do have one page for your pdf it'll make it look like it's a book you know by the little graphics that you see here so it, that's really cute i like that okay so once you this is what you, it'll look like um and you have of course all your books or pdfs or whatever that you have opened on top the tabs will be on top and then clicking here you will open and close drawing mode or edit mode so um you have all your tools here i noticed that the zoom function is at the towards the end um so you do have a little bit of a change in there but you do have your your writing tools here erasing you know highlighting still at the top everything is the same there shapes um, your shapes are your lasso tool. The only difference is now that it has equations um, in there. So that's interesting. And then you have, of course, your stickers, um, your elements um, there. Photos, of course. And, oh, don't mind me. And um, text, which is the same, same as default. I thought that 
with this version, maybe it'll come later on, but I thought that with this version, perhaps I would have more options to save as default. Like I'd have option one, two, and three, just like I do in Notability, but I see that it's still the same one default. So that's fine. Then we have um, the zoom, like I said before, and then of course your laser tool if you want to point, your pointer and all that stuff. Okay, now also, I just want to show you guys, at the top, the very top, we have our same buttons to add a page, your bookmarks, of course, and also to share or export. Now the share and export button has moved. It usually is on this side, but I see that it's now on this side. And then we have these three little buttons down here for our settings as well. Um, more settings. And then we have a search button, of course, and then our thumbnails. We can look at everything all together. Okay, so that has remained pretty much the same. Okay, this is an, a new feature that I'm not so fond of, but that's just me. I'm just being real. This is just to write in stuff. <laughs> and I think if I'm writing a book, it would be very helpful, but I'm not writing a book in good notes. That's just me. If I'm doing something quickly and I want to write a note in, I think that this could be good. Um, however, this doesn't uh, apply to me so much because it has headings here. It has, which is wonderful. Wonderful that you have style and formatting, but I can't switch the font. Where am I, where am I, how am I switching the font? Where? Say I'm writing my notes in for the day. Um, I don't know, anatomy. Okay, I already hate this font. How do I change the font, people? How, how, how do I do this? Where, here? No, that's cutting and pasting. Where do I, where do I change the font? It's ugly. I'm already not wanting to do my notes. <laughs> like, I don't get it. If I'm gonna be paying $25, $24, however much, I want certain things and I don't see that in here. So, okay. Well, that's that, I guess. Another thing that is interesting is that when you, let's let me go back into my planner here, is that when you do equations, um, I wish I could write something in, but my iPad, my, my Apple Pencil is not acting right, so I'm just gonna do it with my finger. When you do equations, you do like five plus five equals, apparently when you circle it, and you hit equation, something is supposed to happen. So let's see, convert, I'm gonna do math, and this is what happens. So I guess this is cool. I mean, maybe I'm not understanding the point of this math. Is it? Is it going to add? Is it going to do my math for me? I don't see the options here for solve. <laughs> I'm going to write something in. Actually, I'm gonna write it in here. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm gonna write a paragraph here, okay? Um, I am super excited to be, oops, to be trying a very cool app and testing it out. Very cool. And testing it out. Okay, so here, I've, highlighted it and then there's this little like star right here. I'm gonna click that. Those are the AI features, which is cool. I can do fix the grammar, paraphrase it, change the tone of what I wrote. Now this reminds me a lot of chat GBT, um, how they would do it. So this is AI quota remaining. Your quota will be reset. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so make it longer. Thanks for saying make it longer. Working on it, it made it longer. I am super excited to be uh, trying a very cool app and testing it out. The developer has built many helpful features into this app. There are so many options to customize it. I especially like how easy it is to navigate between two. I feel like GoodNotes is like, oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna write here. <laughs> and I'm gonna put fix the grammar and I'm gonna put replace. Okay, so this is a pretty cool thing. Um, the fact that I'm writing my notes and or writing a book or whatever it is I'm writing and I can use AI right into this. So that's pretty cool. However, I'm sure, I don't know how professors will feel about this, but that is a pretty cool feature. Um, so yes, AI is built right into it, which is super cool. Moving right along. 
The only thing I feel like is interesting to me so far is the fact that the way that it looks is nicer. The way that it's presented is much nicer. The icon is nicer. The folders are nicer. I can switch all of these. Like even the good notes icon is cute. Like that's what I think is nice. Other than that, I'm not sure I would be using the rest of the stuff. Um, you know, what I would hope, hope for the math, maybe I just need a, a tutorial myself, is that like if I'm doing my finances, it can calculate my finances for me. So maybe I just need to figure it out. You know what I mean? Go to the Good Notes website because I'm confused. Good Notes. Figure it out. Tell me what we doing today. Yeah. Accept the cookies. Accept it. All right. Pricing. Features. Let's see the features. We have first digital paper powered by AI. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. That's good for you. Combine handwritten and typed text. Okay, we knew that already. Add, edit and annotate. Yeah, we knew that already. Mm -hmm. Flexibility to write without constraints. Okay, cool. I guess. So here's the impact of AI power. I think the biggest thing is the AI. I did not expect that to be the biggest thing of um, Good Note 6. For, I don't know. I feel like I wanted more. I want a simple things too, simple things. Like when I'm looking for a color of a text, I wanna be able to do dropper. Like, where is that? I don't, it's not here. You know, like sometimes when you have certain colors that you already have on your page and you just wanna pick up from that, I don't have that. Where's that? Where is it? It's not there. Um, there's a lot of things that they're, they could have done, but they're not here. So, Okay, well, this is nice too. The way that they do the notes is very nice. I think I showed it in another video. I'm not sure if I have, but basically, for example, I am talking about things. I am talking about anatomy. I am talking about the maths. Okay, I'm talking about love. All right. <laughs> so when I click here and I press play, Whatever I'm saying or what I was saying will show up. Like it's all dimmed right now. And when I get to that point where I'm talking about it, it'll write it in. So that's pretty cool too. I like that. That's cool. Thank you. Good notes. Um, but that was there before the six. So, hmm. well then. <laughs> As, um, even looking at the website, I feel like that was really what they wanted to do get across the first AI powered digital paper is from good notes. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, combined handwritten and all, all these other things that it says here was there already to be quite honest with you. Um, this is the biggest impact I think that they're trying to make with AI. So AI is taking over and I'm kind of scared, kind of scared girl. Um, and I was scared too for this because I thought that they wanted me to pay every single month and I hate subscription. I hate it. Everything that never used to be subscription, all of a sudden subscription. Please stop. So I'm glad that I can just pay one time. So the real price is $30. I got $5 off. <laughs> Thanks. And if you, you know, just purchased it, you'll get it for $20 maybe. And here, you can use everything, but there's limits. I thought that there would be so much more to talk about with Good Note 6 being that it's this huge thing and you know it's going to be focused on education it's going to be focused on AI and I'm kind of I'm sorry to say I'm kind of underwhelmed because we already had chat GBT we already had a lot of these little things you know what I mean and I'm grateful I'm not saying that boo to them because they're not doing a good job they're doing an amazing job it's just that if I'm going to be paying something now yearly or I'm gonna be paying much more money, I wanted to see something different because Good Notes 5 was like, what, $5 or I think when I purchased it back then. And if I'm gonna be paying now $24, I wanna see something else that's interesting to me. Um, and yes, AI is fun and all, but I really shouldn't be using it all that much if I'm going to school. I just feel like there's something lost when we're using AI so much. And I do use AI. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and be like, oh no, I don't use it ever. Because I do. But 
I feel like we really need to make sure that our voices are heard. Uh, we're going into a digital age, so I know that it is something that is very popular right now, AI, AI, AI. Um, but yes, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. Tell me what you think in the comments below and what you think about GoodNotes 6. If you haven't used it already or if you haven't tested it out, tell me what you think about it. Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.